Mariva B um, 1.4 petrol turbo. The radiator has burst. Just at the bottom there, and um, lost all the coolant. Anyway, I've got to take the front bumper off. There's a load of T20 bits all the way along the top here. All the way down the side of the wheel arch, up and to where the join is. Same the other side, all the way down, and then underneath is a load of um, these um, sort of ones where plastic ones where you just push the centre through and then pop them out. Weirdly, this isn't a tray that detaches, it's actually moulded as part of the um, bumper, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, once it's um, you've taken all them out, you can literally just pull that and it starts popping it all off, all the way along. It comes off in one complete piece. If you've got um, front fogs, don't drop the bumper down, unplug them individually, and then they'll all have the uh, temperature, sens temp temperature sensor here. So before you go dropping it down, just unplug them off. That's the temperature sensor one. And the um, front fog lights there. And you can unplug the air conditioning um, radiator, condenser, whatever. Just unplug the, assume the pressure sensor there, that unplugs out. There's some clips that you just uh, lift like that. You lift them, that, that comes off. There's one at the bottom as well, on the other side, up the bottom down there. Then this side, <coughs> they are surprisingly reasonably flexible. The bottom one certainly seems a lot more flexible, that one does. You can just push it that way and pop that out and just leave it hang down. There's some more T20s there. And I've just taken it out, put it in there. Just see the hole. Both sides. Then there's a series of 10 mils holding that in. We can get to it through there. There and there, and then there's a 13 there, which is a uh, nut as opposed to a bolt, and then you can flex this. You can flex it underneath, and then on this side. It's got a tab on it there that fits in a tab there. You can just roll this over, it's only a little bit of foam. Roll it over that, take that out, and then you can take this piece off. You can also um, take the air intake hose off and push this back. Get a bit more space. Unplug the fan, the resistor down there, the top of the intercooler temperature sensor, just there, the temperature sensor on the radiator, which is just here. I need to move the sensor over to the new radiator, I would have thought. Take the intercooler hose off. These are ones where they just push back and lift up. So they sit in like that. Those at the top of the intercooler, just here. And the bottom of the intercooler, 
identical one. That is quite awkward because the clip is on the side you can't see. Then take the um, these clips off on the top and bottom of the radiator down there as well. These clips are in these hoses, they're absolutely seized on. And spray like a load of silicon uh, lubricant in there to get them off. They were at, if you'd have took the clips off and left it, then they never fell off. Then all the wiring that's held in with um, zip ties, you're gonna have to uh, cut that free all around the side of the um, radiator for the temperature sensor. All underneath, it unclips off. And then you can get a pry bar in. I sprayed a load of uh, silicon lubricant in, um, and you can just lift the radiator up. They're only held in with um, rubber dowels, and take out the bracket over here, same as that side. Then once it's all free, it should lift out as one unit. I've got this. Um, taped over here so it's out of the way once it's out you can lie down there's a T20 to take out here and then you can push down on a clip here push down on a tag and you've got to push down on these two tags at the same time and the whole thing the whole thing slides that way There's the fan unit taken off. You got your intercooler and uh, rad together. What the problem is here, this is the bottom of the radiator. But it's completely sagged and blown out there. If we get a straight edge, machine straight edge. So I like how far out that is. It's completely bananaed. Straight there. Completely banana there. Now the coolant just pours out straight here. Oh, it's just falling to bits there. And then separate the intercooler and the um, rad. It's just a push clip there. Just goes in there. And then that just unhooks out. Um, incidentally, um, if you want to change the turbo on the car, I would say this is the way to go because you know you can access everything here. Which I think might be another video because the amount of oil that poured out of on doing this hose onto the floor was loads. Probably the bottom half of this was full of oil. Probably means the turbo bearings are on the um, Seals, should I say, are on the way out.